It's John Gibbons for the Anfield Wrap, and we're at the Team Hotel, and I'm delighted to be joined by the absolute boys, uh, Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott. Lads, thank you for taking some time to speak to us this no afternoon. Problem. Really appreciate no it. No problem. Um, I want to talk about journeys, the journeys that you guys have been on in your sort of short careers, but also your lives, because sort of similar to us, you know, as as fans, you know, you both were as well. You know, you've. You, <laughs> You, you don't really choose Liverpool. Liverpool sort of chose all of us, really. And so I was wondering what your first memories are of, of Liverpool Football Club being in, in your lives. Well, as everybody knows, you know, I'm a scouser. I'm a kid who, who, who uh, grew up in the city. Um, so from as far back as I can think, once, once I started to, to walk around, I was always in a kit. Um, and then school days was always Gerard and stuff like and like that. You know, if you you know if you're gonna score like a goal and stuff, you know, you're like Gerard. You know what I mean <laughs> when you score and stuff. So um, yeah, it goes it goes way back. Um, and then growing up, then um, my dream was always then to, to to play the sport because I loved the sport. It was only one one thing that was in my mind that was to play for for Liverpool. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to to, jo to join the academy at six, and then from six then, years old, yeah. And then from then, that's all I knew. So you know, when you're six, you know, you don't. I think it's nine when it properly starts. Yeah, you're but you go into sessions and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're at pre uh, pre academy, um, so after school and stuff, you're going in there. You're going to train. Yeah. Um, and you're in there with hundreds of kids, and it's more just like it's not really a thought of like. A contract and that it's more just a kid who's at the training ground and you're going in and, and the barriers and that are opening up and you're seeing the badge and that on the wall and all things like that so you know it's like wow what's going on here and you get in there it's, like there's hundreds of kids and it's nothing but just fun and um, we're just games on games on games and um, but yeah you know i always had the thought in my head of i want to be uh, a liverpool star um so yeah i'm fortunate enough to, to be in a position now where I'm around the se se uh, senior team and having senior games, so um, all good. For you, Harvey, obviously you're, you're not from the city, but your dad brought you up properly <laughs> and indoctrinated you in the, in the Liverpool way. So for you, was it the same, like you were running around in kits as a kid and all that? Yeah, for me, obviously, it was a bit different um, like compared to, you know, Kurt, who, who grew up in and around the city. I was... I'd say four hour journey away from from the from the city so for me it was obviously a bit tough to to come up um but as much as we could you know my dad would always take me to the ground um anfield or like, it was more so like the away games that we used to do towards like london and around that area um but yeah it was just as what kurt was saying really just growing up you know always in liverpool kit so whatever football kit it was really just loved the game and you know there was always one dream in my mind um i remember used to go into like academy like sessions and stuff at, at different clubs like wearing liverpool kits and they were like you can't wear that <laughs> um so yeah it was always obviously in my mind just to to you know become a footballer is one thing but then playing for liverpool is another so it was just um steps along the way um and i mean yeah to be able to you know play for the club at such a young age, around you know great players and great people, you know it's a it's a massive dream for not only myself but as you said my dad and my family as well, who's brought me up in that way. So when you were playing for these other academies against Liverpool, were you always like trying a bit harder? You're like, I want to show them like what what I've got. <laughs> uh, yeah, but as I said, I was just trying to focus on myself, really, just trying to go out and enjoy it. If anything, I was trying to make friends with them. Just so if I was to move up or <laughs> whatever would happen one day, like I'd know the people and stuff. And I, obviously, when you play for England and you know there's boys all around, um, all around England and you know sometimes Europe, if boys have gone away or whatever, who you come and play for the team. So when, whenever it was like someone from Liverpool or Everton, I would try and make friends with them more than I would someone else. As I said, I just wanted to be around, you know, the kind of, the, the, the scousers and the, the people that play for Liverpool. YouTube, press the button, become a member of the Anfield Wrap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. The best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day, it is the Anfield Wrap.